This week on RC Basics, we talk about motors. We're gonna talk specifically about electric motors, which can be broken down into two categories, brushed and brushless. Before we talk about their differences, let's talk about what they have in common, namely their sizes. Motors come in different size groups determined by the size of their cans. 370 and 380s are smaller. 540 and 550s are more common. There are also larger motors in the 700s group, but I don't have an example of one of those. We can see whether a motor is brushed or brushless, they come in the same sized can. So what's the differences? Simply put, brushed motors have brushes, brushless motors do not. Let's look at a diagram to better clarify. A brushed motor uses a rotating armature that push and pulls against permanent magnets attached to the can, causing rotation. A brushless motor uses coils that are activated by the speed controller to spin a magnetic rotor. This is a very simplified explanation, but the main thing to keep in mind is their efficiency. Because of the brushes rubbing against the magnets in a brushed motor, they're less efficient, only 75 to 80% efficient, where a brushless motor is gonna be much more efficient, like 85 to 90%. So what are the advantages or the disadvantages of these two different types of motors? Brushed motors are simply controlled by two wires, where a brushless motor is a more complex three-wire setup and sometimes even a sensor wire. A brushed motor is rebuildable. Now they're very cheap, so usually you just replace the motor, where a brushless motor has a lot longer life and doesn't need to be rebuilt. Now the bearings in them will eventually go out, but that's way down the road. Brush motors have a much lower cost to produce, which means they're much cheaper for you to buy, where a brushless motor is much more expensive to build, which means they have a higher cost to the consumer. In the same vein, the ESC for a more simple brushed motor is a lower cost and ends up being cheaper for the consumer, and the more complex ESC for a brushless motor is more expensive. And what it really all comes down to, the extra cost, the extra complexity, is that a brushless motor is just more efficient, where a brush motor is less efficient, again, because of that friction that's caused in a, in a brushed motor. Last, I wanna talk about turns versus KV. To keep it simple, you can kind of think of KV as horsepower and turns a bit as displacement. The higher the KV of a motor, the more speed it has, where the more turns a motor has, the lower the speed. Again, because as you add turns of wire to that armature, you're adding more friction, more weight, and it's slowing down the motor. For crawling, you wanna use a higher turn motor, right, for more torque, and or a lower KV motor, because it's down in the band where it makes torque. This is very simplified, and it's just kind of a rule of thumb, but it's not a bad rule of thumb to use. Now these are the very basics of RC motors. I hope it's a little bit helpful and maybe a little bit enlightening. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment down below, or if you'd like to add to this, leave it in a comment down below. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, hit that like button. Maybe hit subscribe if you'd like to keep up with these RC basics. We do them every Friday. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons out there uh, and go check out the Patreon site if you'd like to help support the, uh, support the channel. And I thank you and I'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye.